Hey guys, Mutemoya back again with another tutorial. So guys, I know it's been a minute and uh, like one week I haven't uploaded a video. So guys, um, in today's tutorial I decided to start from uh, just straight from the camera. You can see this image is just straight from the camera. Of course, I use my Nikon D750 85mm lens. <coughs> Sorry guys, f3.2 and 1 over 1000 shutter speed. So. The first thing of course i'll crop this image to the instagram size that's four by five you can see guys i'm here in lightroom because i decided to start everything from scratch so let's say up to there i think i'm good there and uh the next thing i'll do i i want to balance these skin tones of course i'll reduce the highlights a little bit my you can see my focus is on this picture right here so of course i have to reduce the highlights like that increase the shadows a little bit reduce the whites a little bit like that you can see how our image looks so far okay increase the shadows more see there i guess uh you can see I, I haven't done much, I just changed a few things like reduce the highlights because I feel the highlights were too much on this image. I won't change the white balance because I feel the temperature, everything looks okay. And this area here, I'll balance it in Photoshop and just uh, I go down here to sharpening to clarity a little bit, push it up something like let's say plus two da's i guess the da's is okay then I, I go down here to sharpening and push it up a little bit like there i guess that's perfect so you can see the before and after so i know i just reduced i just made the tones to be more visible and stuff so yeah and darkened the image a little bit so uh right click and edit in photoshop Now we are right here in Photoshop. The first thing I'll do, guys, you can see the skin tones. There, there is more light here compared to here. So what I'll do, sorry. What I'll do, I'll uh, just, you can see this area here and the face, they actually match. But this area, the light is a little bit low. So, I'll, of course, I'll duplicate the layer once. Control J. Then curves. Then pick your picker tool. You can see this tool here then zoom in your image a little bit then pull it up like that up to that level is okay then invert your layer pick your brush tool uh, make sure it's a soft brush increase the size a little bit uh, flow 100 opacity 100 and just paint this area like this paint this area like this to make sure they balance perfectly and that way you can see the image now the skin tone actually balance for the whole image now the next thing i'm going to do is retouching this image so of course i'll match all this together i'll press ctrl shift alt and e to create a now match layer of everything then of course i'll duplicate the layer twice let's rename this texture texture name this color and guys uh the method i use is the one i use for my 16-bit images because this image is a 16-bit if you can see rgb 16 times 16-bit because i edited it direct from lightroom so I'll disable the texture layer, go to the color layer, then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, for my images, because uh, I came to realize uh, my, it, I increased the radius depending on the, uh, the pixels of the camera. So for my images, most of my headshots, I prefer using to a radius of five, which is 
actually you can see if i click five it disables all the textures and the model skin but you can see the eyes the air everything so um for my images i prefer using a radius of five for head shots so say okay then activate the texture layer then go to image apply image then here select the uh, color layer uh, because it's a 16 me beach image i prefer using add and of course on this on this on this invert click of course make sure you can see it it brings this uh, grayish figure in here because offset of course leave the offset at two and scale at two and offset at zero and of course for pass 100 don't click prefers transparency and mask then say okay now change the blending mode high here to linear light and then create a black and white layer on top of this like that the first thing i'll do of course i remove the small the most visible blemishes then the rest i can remove after i'm done with the frequency separation i'll pick my clone stamp tool you, if you if you're using the uh, photoshop 2021 the clone stamp tool is right here pick it there then make sure the opacity 100 flow 100 uh de zero degrees sample of course current layer then uh to sample just press alt in your keyboard sample a clean area and paste on the blemish you want to remove so like that so guys if you know the process you can just fast forward your video the video so that you can see what's so I, I'm, I'm just removing the most feasible blemishes before I do my frequency separation make sure the size of the brush is the same size is bigger than the blemish you're removing so I'm trying to clean this right here oh, shit. so yeah guys um I know I haven't been so consistent in my tutorials but I'm so happy for the support you guys are showing me and uh, yeah I'm so grateful for everything um, I'll, I'll leave it at that point I'll leave it at that point then the rest I can just remove after I'm done with the frequency separation then of course I'll pick my mixer brush tool then select on the color layer zoom in uh, your image a little bit then let's start with this area up here the shadow right here like that not too much painting just slightly just slightly going through the shadows and the highlights like that not too much brushing yeah like that yeah disable the black and white of course rotate your image a little bit zoom in pick your mixer brush tool here brush this area like that like this this Perfect. This area like this. As you can see how I'm brushing, I'm just making sure I'm remaining with the texture on the model's skin. So the, the remaining blemishes, I'll remove them immediately. I'm done with the frequency separation. You can see this blush right there. Already looks nice. Yeah, just 
to bring back your image to straight format of course select crop then pick your mixer brush tool again guys so many people have been telling me oh your photos are already color graded in lightroom so today i decided to just do a tutorial from scratch and uh hope this helps someone out there So I brush this area like this, the shadow, of course the highlights. Don't want to mess up with this highlight right here. that hope you guys are following along this is just how i do frequent separation on my images and trust me it really works perfectly or rather how i edited these photos the ones you've seen being seen on my photoshop on my instagram i mean sorry just how i retouch and photoshop them boom guys now here we have a fully retouched image so the next thing i'll do of course you can see if i zoom in you can see there are small small blemishes here and there uh what i'll do i'll pick on the texture layer pick the clone stamp tool just go removing the small small blemishes yeah Sorry. It's to make sure I've remained with the texture on the model's skin. just like that so yeah guys uh, I just match all this together like this and of course I'll do some a little bit of eye whitening show you I'll run my just come here and of course go to photo filter and of course select uh, photo filter 82 and push it like that and uh, UN saturation and of course uh, push it like this a little bit brighten a little bit and put all this in a group invert pick your brush tool make sure it's a soft brush Just paint on the eyes like this. So slightly whiten the eyes. that hope you guys are just following along because go to match all this together because go to black and white change the blending mode to luminosity go to selective color go to blacks 
push this here and push this this way like that and just like that we just color edited and color created this image very fast in photoshop you can do as man, many things as you want on your photos in photoshop uh, to just get the best skin tone and color grading so yeah so i could just reduce this a little bit like that uh, guys if you can see i haven't dodged and burned this image so i'll do you another tutorial or now i do dodge and burn my images in photoshop so guys uh that's just how i edited this image you can see uh of course brightness and contrast photo filter selective color to just color grade this image so before after before after that's how i edited and color graded these images from lightroom from the direct from the camera up to the final result so guys uh hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next next one sorry guys <laughs>